Okay. Uh, well, let's congratulate uh, Coach Aranda and Baylor. They uh, played a really good football game and uh, and beat us at our own place and uh, give those guys credit. I thought they had really good plans on both sides of the ball and uh, they're a physical team. They play really hard. Um, we uh, got behind uh, early on the, on the, on the miscue and go down seven, nothing. We just couldn't get uh, out of that uh, hole and we just struggled to get any rhythm going offensively uh, throughout the day until we had the big run with deuce. And then we just, we struggled to get off the field. I thought on, on, on defense, give those guys credit. They're a team that goes for it a lot on fourth down. And uh, we knew that. And so stopped them a couple of times, but uh, not, not significantly enough. And so they won the time of possession, won the play count. And, you know, if you'd have told me we were going to have 51 plays and they were going to have 83 plays, I'd have thought we'd gotten beat 50 to 10, um, which goes to show you um, the resolve of, of the defensive guys to, to bow up and make some stops there. Uh, to keep it at least within within reach and uh, just didn't capitalize on, on some of the opportunities we had. So um, disappointing loss. Uh, we got to put it behind us quickly and go to work tomorrow because uh, we got to play here in about six days. Chris, what was it about Baylor's pass defense that made it so hard for you guys to throw? You know, they did a lot of different things. They played really tight man coverage and they, and they do a good job of, of rerouting and, and banging guys around and knocking them off, uh, disrupting the, the timing of things. And then they pass things off in zone really well. And then they, they do a great job of, of coming hard at a quarterback, whether they're rushing four or five or sometimes six, I, I thought they do a really good job of knocking Skyler off his spot and making him ad lib either up in the pocket or outside. And, and, uh, it was a problem obviously all day. And just on Skylar Thompson overall, how do you think he played today? And do you have anything you can tell us about his? Well, I don't know anything about uh, his injury right now. Um, we all need to probably play a little bit better on offense. We need to have a, a better plan on offense. I don't think our plan was great um, for, uh, for what Baylor was doing. And uh, we didn't probably adjust as well. Um, but, you know, uh, some of that is, is the credit to – uh, to Baylor, I thought they did a really nice job uh, of mixing some things up and and uh, pressuring and playing some some good tight man coverage. You've seen some really good defenses this year, but Baylor kind of dictated this game to their defense, didn't they? Yeah, when I watched film throughout the week, I thought um, they were comparable to Oklahoma State as far as a football team. And uh, Oklahoma State was the best team that we had played so far this year. And coming in this game, I thought they were going to be the next best team we played this far at Baylor. And it it uh, was definitely true because uh, they got a lot of veteran guys. Uh, their linebackers are really, really talented. And uh, they've got – they rotate a lot of defensive linemen in. And, and uh, give those guys credit. They played really well. Because the defense was playing so well, 10 points kind of felt like 30. Yeah. Uh, did you get away from the run a little bit too much? Probably. Um, you know, we, we needed to probably try to run it inside a little bit more. Um, and then when we'd get a second and five or something, you know, we'd end up misfiring and being third and five or, or whatever it may be. We just, uh, we just struggled to get in any rhythm uh, offensively. And it was really, really frustrating. Yeah. Follow that up on a tough night. Deuce is able to do what Deuce does. Uh, what kind of fighter is Deuce? He's a really good fighter, and it's it's unfortunate that um, he only got the ball eleven times uh, on the ground. But in the same respect, we only had fifty one plays, and that's you know that's as much of the defense not getting off the field to get our our offense the ball back. I mean, it was um, you know collectively we lost all th in my mind we lost all three phases of the game. We lost on offense, we lost on defense, and and they made the um, the big play on special teams that got them the first seven points. And so, um, you know, you're, you're not going to win many games. We're fortunate to be even in the game, losing all three phases. How'd you feel your defense adjusted to uh, Blake shaping in there coming in at quarterback late in the first half? Well, I thought that that kid did a really nice job. Um, we didn't have much on a scouting report on him. He hadn't played, I don't believe. And, um, uh, we didn't know what they were going to do from a run run game, pass game. I, I thought they did a nice job of of throwing some check downs and throwing some easy passes and easy completions for him to get him into a rhythm. And then uh, he's a really good athlete, and he got us on a couple of quarterback run plays. And uh, obviously, Bohannon is, is their guy and a really good player. But uh, uh, I thought he came in and, and gave him a spark and did some good things. 
What did you uh, see about your run defense today? Their running backs coming in had a lot of success. It felt like at times you did a good job of limiting the run. What did you see from your front seven? Well, I thought we played well at times on, on defense collectively. They're a great, really outside zone wide stretch team. And, um, yeah, and maybe we did a good enough job trying to slow it down that they were, um, going into a little bit more bootleg and short passing game, but, uh, we made some good stops, uh, a couple of fourth down stops that were, were critical right around midfield that would have given us a couple of chances. We just didn't capitalize on the opportunities, but, uh, you know, we've, we've got to get off the field on defense and we just didn't do that consistently enough. And then on the, the play where there was a muff pump and they called a uh, fair catch interference. Did you ever get any explanation from the official or anything like that? Yeah. He just said he felt like he was too close to him. And so that's, it's a judgment call. The one touchdown uh, that you did have with, with Deuce on a 65 yard run, just how great for you that he was able to finally burst one. Of them yeah. Plus one it was out. good to, you know, give us a little life, give us a little momentum. And, uh, you know, we came back to the play a few times and got a, and got some gains out of it, but then they they did a nice job shutting it down. But that's you know that's one thing about Deuce. Whenever he gets the ball, there's always a chance he can take it to the distance. Sorry if this is kind of putting you on the spot and you haven't thought about it yet. But you played Jaron late today. Played Jaron late last game. If you're in a situation where you have to choose between Jaron and Will next week, do you know what you might do? That's something that we've got to talk about as a staff. I, I you know it's a good question. Um, Kels, I just don't know. I've got to talk with Mess and talk with Colin and see where we're at. Was it was there something about Baylor's pass rush that that really gave the offensive line trouble throughout the night? Yeah, they're relentless. They're long. They're athletic. They're physical, um, and they do a lot of stunts. And you know, there's some times I thought we protected really well. Uh, but there was nobody open. So then you got to credit the secondary and linebackers as well, because they had us on uh, pretty tight coverage. So you know, I thought they played well at all three levels of their defense. And that's when you hold somebody to 10 points and um, you limit them like limit us like they did, you're, you're playing well at all three levels. Did they throw any exotics at you that you hadn't seen in purpose? Not that I, not that I was aware of. They, they lined in a few different formations um, offensively, but on defense, uh, for the most part, they do what they do, and they just like to bring different pressures. You know, they've got a number of linebackers they can bring, uh, and then they'll bring a corner blitz and stuff. They do a little bit of everything really well. You said goodbye to a special group of seniors, especially, well, not just especially, but including one of your quarterbacks in quite a pretty special moment. Yeah, those are always hard days, you know. Um, I don't know, we had 30 or 31 seniors, and – a few of them I've I've hugged before on senior day last year, and I knew they were coming back. So this one, uh, I knew they weren't coming back. Guys like J Mac and Noah and Skyler, those cats, and it was it was a really hard day. Um, these days are always emotional on senior day, and and I, I'm glad I got told the guys in the locker room, um, Baylor beat us today, but we've got more story to write, and we can still have a really special season and. You know, we're, we're seven and four and we get a great opportunity next week to go to Texas and a chance to go to a bowl game. I mean, we, we got some things in front of us too. As I was going to ask, you know, after having so many issues today, kind of getting the passing game going, you know, Skyler finally has that long, long play to Malik, yep. but then to cap that drive with a missed field goal, just how kind of crushing was that? Really was. It was, it was, it was disappointing because, um, we got a chance to cut it to a one score game and then you kick off and hopefully you get a stop, get a little momentum and you, and you, get one more shot at him trying to score it's uh it, it's it's frustrating um we got a young kicker that's that's um struggled a little bit but he's he's a young guy and uh, i know he wants to be successful i know he wants to do well um and uh, we got to keep working with him and played well what did you think of his play today have to see it but you know, it's, daniel always plays well you know our, our linebackers always play well and and uh i'm sure there's some plays that he'd like to have just like everybody else but you know for the most part guys i got no issue with our effort our, our effort was there our, where our physicality was there you know our execution wasn't great at all times but man those guys laid it on the line now um both sides of the ball i thought we really laid it on the line and then we'll ask about one more senior and reggie stubblefield the guy that's just here for a year but how much energy and infectious energy is he yeah. giving this team he's fun to watch he's a really good player talented kid uh excited that we were able to have him there all those kids that were the one-year seniors um you know manhattan's had a great impact on those guys kansas state's had a great impact on those guys and they they realize those handful of one-year seniors 
how special a place K-State is and how special K-State football is and how special that fan base is and, and what a great crowd. And all our guys, I told those seniors, man, soak it in when we're on our walk coming into the stadium. You got about 200 yards, all these young kids and fans and stuff. Enjoy it and soak it in because you've earned it. And, you know, a lot of those kids get a chance to interact with a Deuce Vaughn or a Reggie Stubblefield. And that, that's what makes K-State so special. Kind of a follow-up question on that. Just what has this senior group in particular meant to not only you, but to the whole entire program? Well, you know, they, they embody our core values of discipline, commitment, toughness, and selfless. And, uh, you know, those, a lot of those guys came back wanting to, to make a statement, wanting to flip what we had done here from a culture standpoint. And, and we, have, we have done that. Not that the culture was poor, because we had a hard COVID year, like every, all you guys know. And those guys came back and said, we're going to get this thing turned. And, you know, as we were sitting here three and three at one time, not knowing what the heck to expect. And all of a sudden, we run off four, game, four wins in a row, and we still have a good football team. We got beat by a better one today. And I, I just love those seniors and, and the commitment that they've put in and the time they've put in. Um, we, got, we got a good football team. We just got beat today by a better one. Chris, do you happen to have any update on, on Jerron? I don't have an update on Jerron. I don't have an update on Skyler. Um, I, you know, they didn't, either one could return. So we'll find out here in the next 24 to 48 hours, I hope. Did you see the play with Jerron where he got hurt? And it's kind of bizarre I, I was kind of tripping over the official, I thought. Um, and so, no, I, I, I mean, I, I saw him, he looked fine. And then he was trying to get off of a pile and then the official came over and he tripped over the official and then all of a sudden he's down. So we'll have to see it on film and see what really happened. I don't know, but it was a really odd, strange play for him to get hurt on. And one more thing I wanted to ask about was like, what can you say about the effort for TJ Smith on the one fumble yeah. recovery? I mean, he really had to get in there and fight for it. He did. And, and I'm excited for TJ because, um, you know, we moved some guys around and, and knocked TJ out of the rotation a little bit. And uh, when Jerron went down, TJ had an opportunity, and I thought TJ played really well. I was happy for him. Can you just speak a little bit to the effort and uh, impact that Ross Elder gave you on some of those big tackles? Yeah, I thought Ross played one of his better games, or if not his best game here uh, without seeing the film. I'm just proud of the way um, Ross came back and played and, and played his tail off and, and did a really good job. He's probably a little bit sore, but – He's got to roll again next Friday. So I thought he played really well. All right, appreciate it. Okay, thanks, everybody.